Sean Diddy Combs posted photos of his daughter Love on social media Sunday. Sean Diddy Combs posted a carousel of photos Sunday of his one-year-old daughter, Love, celebrating Easter after his lay and Miami homes were raided in connection with sex trafficking investigation. The post marks the first time the rapper has posted on social media since the feds raided the homes on March 25th. Happy Easter from Baby Love, he captioned the snaps, which included Love in an adorable floral dress with a matching purse and pink jacket. The post marks his first time on social media since his houses were raided by the feds. Happy Easter from Baby Love, he captioned the photo Sunday. Two other photos show Love, whom did shares with Dana Tran, walking in a field. His comments were turned off on the post. A rep for Homeland Security Investigations confirmed the raid to page 6 last week. We will provide further information as it becomes available, the rep told us. During the raid in Los Angeles, his sons, Justin and King, were seen being handcuffed and questioned. Diddy, 54, was in Miami when the raids occurred and was photographed pacing around Miami Opeloka Executive Airport. Diddy is a father to seven children, including Love. He shares his youngest daughter with Dana Tran. On Tuesday, Diddy's attorney, Aaron Dyer, called the raids a witch hunt. Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated, Dyer said in a statement to page 6. Dyer also said Mr. Combs was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. Despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way the feds raided the rapper's home on Monday in connection to a sex trafficking investigation. Diddy's sons King and Justin were handcuffed and questioned outside his La home. Diddy, meanwhile, was in Miami at the time of the raid. Sources told Page Six at the time that the I'll Be Missing You rapper and his team did not see it coming and he was preparing to vacation in the Bahamas with his children for spring break. He has since been photographed appearing unbothered by the raid while out with his children and while stepping out shirtless for a smoke on Saturday. Besides daughter Love and sons Justin and King, Diddy has a son named Quincy as well as a daughter named Chance and twins named Dee, Isla and Jesse. Before the raids, Diddy has been involved in several lawsuits from both men and women accusing Combs of sexual assault and rape, among other allegations, which he has vehemently denied. Combs has been spotted outside his home in Miami since the raids. His attorney called the raids a witch hunt mister. Combs was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with authorities, his attorney added. In November 2023, the singer's ex-girlfriend Cassie accused Diddy of rape and abuse. The case was quickly settled the same month. Diddy was hit with three more sexual assault lawsuits after the settlement with Cassie. A spokesperson for Combs at the time denied the accusations, telling Page Six the allegations were fabricated and nothing but a money grab. Puff Daddy is living true to his name. Sean Diddy Combs took a smoke break on the dock of his Miami mansion Saturday, less than a week after the lavish property and his $40 million lay estate were raided in connection to a sex trafficking probe. The bad boy executive 54 was photographed shirtless, wearing nothing but white shorts as he took some puffs in the agreeable Florida weather and then made his way back indoors. At another point though, he was seen rocking a white bucket hat as well and had an extra large gold pendant necklace and an orange towel around his neck. A shirtless Sean Diddy. Combs was photographed taking a smoke break on the dock of his Miami mansion after it was raided by Homeland Security on Monday. He wore nothing but white shorts. The rapper's Miami mansion and his $40 million Los Angeles residence were raided Monday in possible connection to an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. An insider told Page Six Combs was detained at the Miami Opelika Executive Airport as the raids were ongoing. Earlier this week, the feds turned Combs' homes upside down as they looked for evidence. Shortly after the searches took place on Monday, the last night rapper was seen pacing back and forth outside the Miami Opelika Executive Airport. An insider previously informed Page Six Combs was detained there as he was headed to the Bahamas with his 17-year-old twin daughters, Jesse James and Dee Isla Starr. On Thursday, the father of seven was seen spending some quality time with the teen girls at Top Golf in the Miami Beach area. He even smiled and flashed a peace sign at photographers as he walked away. 
several people on his property in Leigh were handcuffed and questioned. Two of his sons, Justin and King, appeared to be among those handcuffed. The aftermath of the raids showed Combs' belongings strewn about his residences. Furniture was overturned and documents were sifted through and scattered about. Then, on Friday, fitness coach Wes Watson shared on Instagram an image of Combs grinning with him at a well-known smoothie shop in Miami called Pura Vida. The raid on Combs' homes, which saw several people, including his sons Justin and King, handcuffed and questioned, came after several people accused him of sexual assault and harassment. He quickly settled with his own again, off again ex, Cassandra Ventura, after she sued him for rape and abuse in November 2023. Despite the settlement, his lawyer asserted that he was innocent. Just so we're clear, a decision to settle a lawsuit, especially in 2023, is in no way an admission of wrongdoing attorney Ben Braffman told Page Six in a statement after the settlement. Days after the raids, the bad boy for life. Rapper was seen looking cheerful with social media star Wes Watson at what appeared to be a coffee shop. He smiled and waved at the camera. Mr. Combs' decision to settle the lawsuit does not in any way undermine his flat-out denial of the claims. He is happy they got to a mutual settlement and wishes MS Ventura the best. Since then, he has been sued for gang raping a minor, sex trafficking and drugging a female on a date before sexually assaulting her. The Grammy-winning artist has vehemently denied the scathing accusations following the fourth claim of sexual assault against him in December 2023. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy, he wrote on Instagram. Before the raids, Combs was accused of sexual assault, rape, drugging and more by several people. He also settled a rape and abuse lawsuit brought on by his ex, singer Cassandra Ventura. Despite the settlement, Combs has maintained his innocence. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Diddy concluded, let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth, Sean Diddy. Combs was seen on an outing with his twin daughters in Miami on March 28, days after law enforcement sources told NBC News HI agents executed search warrants at his Miami and LA homes. Three days after authorities raided the rapper's homes in Los Angeles and Miami, the 54-year-old was seen having a family night out. Combs was photographed at Top Golf in Miami March 28 with his 17-year-old twin daughters Dee, Isla, and Jesse, who he shared with the late Kim Porter. And as the Grammy winner, who is a father of seven, walked by the paparazzi, he flashed them the peace sign. On March 25th, Homeland Security Investigations SEC agents executed search warrants at Combs LA. And Miami properties, multiple law enforcement sources told NBC News while noting the warrant was out of the Southern District of New York. During the searches, guns were found and the Department of Homeland Security seized phones from Combs in Miami before he was scheduled to take a trip to the Bahamas, law enforcement sources familiar with the warrant service added to the outlet. Four people have since been interviewed by prosecutors and investigators from the Southern District of New York about allegations of sex trafficking, sexual assault, the solicitation and distribution of illegal narcotics and firearms supposedly tied to Combs, a source told NBC News. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations, Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Federal agents with Homeland Security Investigations ATEC executed search warrants at Sean Diddy Combs, Los Angeles and Miami properties on March 25th, multiple law enforcement sources confirmed to NBC News. The sources told the outlet the warrant was out of the Southern District of New York and a spokesperson for HSC New York confirmed to E. News it executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSC Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. Law enforcement sources told NBC News the music mogul was in the Miami area when the search warrants were executed. News about the investigation broke after Combs faced allegations of sexual misconduct in lawsuits filed by multiple accusers starting in November, with the musician denying the allegations. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. He wrote in a December statement posted on Instagram, let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. Thank you for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel.